Hello, 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 viewers. Hello. Hello, hello, viewers. Hello, hello. 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 I want to invite everybody. Everybody and share this with the friends. Karibu sana, karibu sana, karibu sana. Karibu sana. Somebody online this evening. Karibu sana. Karibu sana, karibu sana, karibu sana. Hello, hello viewers. Hello, 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 hello. Hope you're well. Karibu, karibu, karibu. You must welcome to Irene Irene's Ebu YouTube channel. Karibu, karibu, karibu. Can I, um, uh, can I get feedback, please? If I, you can hear me well and clear. I've seen somebody has joined me. Karibu sana. Thank you so much for tuning in. Karibu, karibu, karibu. Karibu sana. Please invite your friends. Let me see you through the comments, please. Karibu sana. Please invite your friends. I just want to um, help us today answer a few questions concerning how to lose belly fat, which has been a, a, a journey for me. And therefore, uh, I've learned, I've, 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 I've worked, and also I've, um, I think I have the knowledge, the knowledge to share with us, okay? That is for women and also for men, or also for men. So invite your, invite your brother who has been struggling with belly fat, as I told you earlier, belly fat is so dangerous to, uh, to us as human beings, okay? Uh, that it comes with uh, vascular diseases. Yes, so you're welcome. You're welcome. I'm still waiting for uh, a forum. Karibu sana, karibu sana. Karibu sana. Kindly can I, kindly can I uh, get your feedback, please? If you can hear me well, so that I know if I'm on the good track, okay? Karibu sana, invite your friends. Invite your friends. Ah, Olivia Ndakive, Ndakize, karibu, karibu. Any questions you can pass across? Yes. Uh, karibu sana, Olivia. Karibu sana, karibu sana. Karibu, karibu, karibu. You're most welcome. We are still waiting for um, uh, 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 that is a forum so that we continue with our discussion today. In case you've been struggling with belly fat, please let me know and how you have been doing to deal with it or what, what you have been doing to, to try uh, getting rid of it, okay? And um, what maybe uh, you think you have not um, done that you have accumulated that uh, belly fat for quite a while now, okay? And this comes mostly when we... Uh, conceive and um, after uh, after childbirth we find ourselves that is uh, later having bellies there yeah? big bellies that are just no it's not a good uh, place to be but because we are mothers we accept and we continue sometimes some of us uh, we give up and we just say ah, it is uh, it's okay it's okay and you live your life okay but you can get rid of that belly fat it is very very possible to get rid of that belly fat. Therefore, invite a friend, invite a neighbor, invite your brother, invite your sister, invite your uncle, invite your father, anyone. As long as they are desiring to lose that belly fat, they can be so um, hard. Yes, uh, as I as I as I as I, I just share with you my journey, 
of how I've managed to lose a lot of belly fat. Yes? Yes? Olivia, Olivia, and then I think there's another person who has joined us again. Kindly, can I see you through the comments? Through the comments, just say hi, 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 hi. Please invite your friends, invite your friends, invite your friends. Invite your friends. Invite your friends. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. God is good that we have started another new month. And therefore, we are trusting that we, uh, he shall take us through. And that uh, we will not fear, we will not fear, we will not fear. Okay. So even as we move on, we have to be healthy. So in my channel, I talk so much of uh, losing weight. And uh, part of this... Uh, uh, part of this is uh, our belly fat, our belly fat. So you invite a friend that has been struggling with belly fat, which I've said that um, it's the most stubborn fat in the body of a human being to uh, to be gotten rid of. Yes, it's a, the stubbornest fat, the belly fat and the arm fat. But today I just want to talk about belly fat. Um, I'm streaming live from my salon. I have a salon. I have a salon. I'm streaming live from my salon. And uh, later on, if you want to visit us, you're welcome to QTV to salon. You're welcome to QTV to salon. Here we do hairdressing. Here we do nails. Here we do, uh, uh, I have a shop. That's a barber shop. Uh, that is barber. And uh, here also we, we, we pierce, that is the ears. Here we also do fashion and design. You're most welcome. So uh, this is where I'm streaming live from. Okay. Um, I hope that I'm going to bless you even as we continue interacting. Let it be interactive. If you have any question, please uh, put across through your comments. Okay. Um, I've had a very, as I've had a very tough journey but I have enjoyed it, of losing belly fat. I'm almost there, a few inches, then I'll be done. A few inches, just a few inches, a few inches. Because uh, two years and a half uh, now, working out nonstop, nonstop. Yes, two and a half years working out, that is doing exercises, nonstop. I'm telling you, it's not a joke. It has been a determination, consistency that has helped me. And through God's grace, I've been able to manage my tummy. Okay? Uh, there are questions that the, 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 the people that used to meet me, and most of them are used to ask, Irene, are you due? When are you due? When are you due? And that question is not good as to us, especially ladies. Ask ladies. Mm -hmm. You know, and you're not pregnant, and you, you are not even contemplating to get uh, pregnant, okay? And that question is passed to you. Sometimes it um, just crushes somebody. I don't know how you take it, but when you take it positively, you start working on it. You just you start working on it. But if you take it negatively, then you get stressed up. When you get stressed up, a cortisol hormone is generated in your body. When it's generated, in your body, then the insulin insulin level also increases. And when it increases, what happens? Your body starts craving for food. And when your body starts craving for food, what you do do? You will start eating more. And when you eat more, what happens? Your belly continues to grow big. Okay. So it is a matter of taking it positive. Uh -huh. People, you meet people, your friends. You want to take a photo, but normally you are. Your, uh, your uh, hands are held across. <laughs> yes, that has just happened to me severally. Yes, it just happened. I know it has happened to very many ladies. Go and, take, uh, go and check on the photos of women who are standing taking a photo. You will find most of us hold our tummies. Why? Because we have accumulated a lot of belly fat. Not because we want it sometimes. Um, uh, uh, 
let's say 95% is not because we want it, but because of the expansion of the abdominal muscle, which comes after, uh, during and uh, now after delivery. Okay, so don't feel downcasted, don't feel downtrodden, even when people, you meet people and they tell you, uh, or they ask you whether you are going to get a baby in the next few months, okay? So try to encourage yourself. Go back to the house and look at yourself and say, hey, hey, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. And please try your level best now to work on it slowly by slowly, slowly by slowly, every day, slowly by slowly. So as I talk, I want to welcome anybody that's joining me tonight. tonight. Karibu sana, as you can see, another person has joined us. I cannot see, that's the names of them that are joining. Kindly, can I, can I just see a hello? or a comment whether you can hear me well or you can you can see me clearly so that i know whether i am communicating okay whether i'm communicating to you okay so um i'm talking about how to get rid of belly fat belly fat which uh, is a very stubborn fat in a human body, in, uh, in, in, in somebody's uh, body yes you have to really put a lot of effort for you to get that read of that belly fat and uh, most of us ladies have decided not to maybe work on it but we have decided to get uh clothes eh? like let's say the corsets the the uh the body what body suits just to we finish to we finish to so that you feel good and the you, you, you suit that the, you get into your dress okay but today i just want to share with us how i've been able to do it how i've been able to um work out and also a few things here and there. Uh, I just want to get maybe five people, then we continue just discussing or sharing uh, on how to lose that is belly fat. Okay, Olivia and uh, another person is uh, that is tuned in. Kindly, can I get a, a, a thumbs up or a comment to just see whether we are together? Okay. Karibu sana, karibu sana. And if you can hear me well, I really appreciate uh, if you can send me that is uh, uh, feedback, whether you can hear me well, okay? Otherwise, I've been, I've been, um, I'm, I'm, I'm every day so encouraged. I put on, that is, I tuck in. I mostly I tuck in my clothes because uh, I think I stayed for quite a while without tucking in. Yes, because of the big tummy that I had. Yes. For uh, I think three years, yeah, um, uh, almost three years, where now you have to look for for peplum uh, uh, tops. You have to look for uh, the the uh, dera like dera like uh, tops or or dresses, yeah. And you get to the you get to the supermarket. Uh, the the dress fits you maybe the upper body, the lower body, but when it gets to tummy, mm -mm, zip ayendi, yes. And sometimes it can be so uncomfortable. And especially when you have got there with your partner. <laughs> especially if you've gone there with your spouse and you are trying every dress. But what do you do? What do you do? So uh, it's good to be a woman. Celebrate womanhood. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate to be a mother. Mm -mm -mm. We celebrate. Yes, we celebrate. We celebrate. You don't need to start... Um, uh, getting so stressed and depressed because of the way you are looking like. What matters a lot is that you're able to take it positively and decide to work out, okay? Work on it and you will get rid of that belly fat, okay? Um, I'm still, still trying to wait on people, trying to wait on people, trying to wait on people. Olivia, in any, in any, uh, by any chance, I, do, you, do you want to lose weight or do you want to lose the belly fat? Or you are just here to support Irene. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know, please. Whoever is tuned in, just tell me whether you want to either lose lose weight or you want to lose belly fat. And another myth that I should uh, uh, take care of is that when you want to lose belly fat, you will not just start losing your belly fat alone. Mostly, you find that uh, belly fat as okay. You have belly fat, but at the same time. There is that extra uh, fat or weight that you've accumulated in the entire body. So as you work out, you find that you have to work on the entire body for you to lose the belly fat. Okay. 
So you cannot just start doing the benefit. It will not be balanced. <laughs> it will not be balanced. So you need to turn the entire body for you to also uh, get rid of, of belly fat. Yes, I'm so passionate about this because it has been my journey. It has been my journey for quite a while now. I started my workouts when I was 50 inches belly. 50 inches. My waistline was 50 inches. You can imagine 50 inches. My waistline was 50 inches. Hear me well. My belly, my waistline was 50 inches. Okay? So you can imagine how big it was. How big it was. I remember one time I was to I was to um, I was to be in a lineup, my sister's wedding lineup, yes. And um where we are making our dresses from was a, a little bit far from where I stay. So what I did, I just uh, took the measurements and I sent them to uh, the lady. But the lady refused to make my dress until she saw me uh, one on one. Why? Because she thought uh, those, those measurements are just abnormal. <laughs> so I had to travel, I had to travel, I had to travel. Mm -hmm kilometers away to go and just be measured a week to the wedding a week to the wedding this is a testimony i can say it's a true testimony so um uh, after she had seen me she confirmed that i was 50 inches or uh, my waistline was 50 inches is when she continued yes she had, she had started but she was not very sure so uh she had now to to connect the to connect the, the, the that is the waist the waist and the and the upper and the upper part of the of the dress okay so uh this is what i'm talking about i'm talking about uh when you want to go dressing when you want to go to um to a boutique to uh to get a dress it becomes so difficult it becomes so stressing stressful because you are looking for something to fit you but your belly is not allowing you to get uh the most beautiful dress that you want yes so that's why i'm here to encourage that woman that has been struggling with belly fat that it's very much possible to lose that belly fat okay it's very much possible i've done it from 50 inches now that is i've been working out for the last two years and a half i've lost so many inches mm -hmm. let's say 50 i'm now at 30 i'm now at 34 yes i'm now at 34 so uh, I'm remaining, I think I'm remaining with four inches and I'm good to go, okay, four. Um, I got married when I was 28 inches, <laughs> 28 inches. So I can still go to 28, but when I get rid of four inches, I'll be good to go. So right now I tuck in, I tuck in, yes? Just to, to feel good that I've worked out. It's a reward of hard work, yes? It's a reward of hard work. It's a reward of hard work. Okay, those are my people here that help me in the salon. So don't you worry, don't you worry, don't you worry. So um, uh, I think I can now proceed. We are, we, are two, we are three people that is tuned in, plus myself, we are four. So that's a nice quorum, we can continue. The rest will join us later. And also maybe if they are very busy, they can uh, watch uh, later on. Okay, so. Please forward your questions so that I help, so that I know how you have been managing or how you have been trying, trying to get rid of that belly fat, okay? Uh, kindly let me know whether you, you, you desire to lose or you're okay or you have been trying things. Let me know what you, you have been doing. Let me know what you've been doing, okay? Let me know what you have been doing so that I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm sure where to come in. Yes? Yes? Okay. First, I have to say again that uh, belly fat is the stubbornest, it's the most stubborn fat in the body to, 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 to get rid of. And the second thing is um, sometimes we lack knowledge. We lack knowledge on where to start and how to start and what to do for you to, for you to lose that belly fat. Mm -hmm. So the first step for us, for the first step is to accept. <laughs> the first step is to accept. You have to accept 
and you have to put that in your mind yes then after that you tell yourself that i want to manage this whether it rains or shines you have to tell yourself that it's change your mind that it's very much possible to miss this benefit there is no way you lose belly, there is no way you can lose the entire body fat uh and 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 and, and you are unable to get rid of the benefit yes it means when you put the same of effort you are able to you are able to turn uh from a uh, balance from up upper body to the mid section and to the lower section okay so you have to change your mind that it is possible don't get comfortable uh when you see other women is think of oh, okay we are many so why should i struggle and your muscle come karibu sana karibu sana ah we have to hear that I think you should always be on my live uh, my my live my live streaming because 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 you give me feedback. Olivia, are you there? Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much and karibu sana. I'm talking about uh, uh that is uh, how to get rid of belly fat. How to get rid of belly fat, which is the most stubborn fat in the body to be worked on and to be dealt with. Okay? So, um I was saying that uh, we need to accept first of all that we have the belly fat. Yes. The second thing you have to change the mind that I am able to do it. Yes, I am able to do it. I'm able to get rid of this belly fat. I'm able to get rid of this belly fat. It starts from the mind. So if you tell yourself that, then the, the next process will be easier because already it has been conceived in your mind and nothing can change that. So when you wake up in the morning, you just know that this is my you you are focused uh, and you are going that journey okay so uh, don't get to a comfort a comfort zone where you walk around and you see women with big tummies and you feel um oh, i'm not the only one so let me just stay back and and eat and feel comfortable i'm telling you it will you get huge you get big and big and big as the day progress as the days progresses okay so i want you to get out of comfort zone and and and, and get rid of that fear get rid of the fear that maybe you have gone through a cs okay that you've gone through a cs and that you cannot go uh, that you cannot work out mm -hmm. yes i'm talking this because i have had two uh, cesarean sections and um i'm one person that uh, takes risks i can take risks i can take risks i'm an entrepreneur so if you're an entrepreneur you have to take risk so for me uh, actually it's not that risk per se but uh with um with um help of my gyna gyna in the, with the her advice I'll, i've been able to work out um my child is turning my child is turning three years by seventh of this month by seventh of this month so and i'm telling you i've been working out vigorously for the last two and a half months calculate when did i did, did i start working out so i decided to to put fear at a <laughs> for parking i left fear at the parking lot yes and i decided that i want to shape myself i want to shape myself and those questions that come about every time when are you do now have ceased now that what they Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm back here. Yes. So I was saying that I've been working out for the last two years, two and a half years, just get rid of belly fat. And not belly fat alone. Add 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 add, add so much, add, add, add so much weight. And therefore I had to work out for for me to come back to 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 my ideal weight okay so uh fear should not when fear is in then you cannot be able to work out and especially the tummy tummy fat the belly fat is dangerous so when you fear there are people that have even uh, uh stayed for six years uh, but still when you meet them they say you know i've gone through a cs you know you know i've had a three four cs mm -mm. Imagine it's possible. It is, my sister. It is possible. Okay, very much possible. So, 
want to encourage you to take a step of faith. Take a step of faith and start. Okay? When you start to start small, start if you want to not be for the next day. So the structure of how to change your mind for you to lose trust and put this fear at the point what I fear especially when you have gone through the first case. I've just posted my I've just posted a video of mm. how of how to burn fat through through weightlifting. Do you know how much mm. that weight is? The weight that was lifting up. It was so much. In fact, I laughed. Then I said, actually, women should stop fearing after having cesarean section. Yes. If I calculate those are more than 10 kgs I'm carrying, and I've had two CSS. The last one was last year, that is 2017, on 7th uh, July. I'm celebrating my child's birthday on 7th this month. Okay? 7th this month. And how did it start? How was my journey? What, what triggered? What made me start working out even after having gone through a cesarean section? What, what is that? Where did it start? Where did my journey start of working out even after going through a CS? Four months, actually. Four months after CS. One day, I remember I was carrying my child. I was carrying my child and, and I felt some pain that is, uh, now you can see, uh, for heart, just somewhere here. So I thought, eh, and it, it was so it was so sharp. It was very sharp. And therefore, I decided to go to the hospital. So when I got there, I was, I was transferred to the main hospital. And the, uh, on that later, it was written urgent. <laughs> when you, you have been given a letter to go to uh, a main hospital, and yet it has been written urgent. In my in my bloodline or in my history, there is no blood pressure. We don't have blood pressure in our lineage. But when I got to the main hospital the following day, <laughs> my blood pressure was high. <laughs> Just for that period. Yes. Yeah? And then the doctor was asking, Have you do you have any blood pressure history? No. Do you have any those those questions that they normally ask when they want to do that is a uh, any examination or any diagnosis, yes? So he told me, I want to send you to a room. So I went to that room. In that room, I found a treadmill. So this guy that was there told me, jump onto the treadmill. Uh, uh, the first thing that came into my mind, pap, you know, I've gone through CS four months ago. So this guy told me, no, 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 you are in the right hands. Safe, you are safe. And I just want to, uh, want to, I want to help you. So. Don't worry, I'll be monitoring, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be doing what, I'll, 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 you just tell me, if you feel anything, uh -huh. listen to your body, if you feel any pain, tell me. But he continued increasing the pace, he continued increasing the pace, wow, he continued increasing the pace until he found what he wanted to, to, to get, that is from the, 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 the heart beat, okay. So he got whatever he wanted, then he started, after I think 10 minutes or so, okay. Then after that, I wanted and I asked him, really, I can do, I can start doing some exercises? Then he told me, yes. Mm -hmm. You listen to your body. So that was my, that was the, uh, the first uh, go ahead. Then I, he took the results to the doctor. The doctor told me, okay, Irene, there's no problem. It's only that uh, there was a, the, there's a tendon, a tendon which had twisted. And uh, whether I work out or not, it will just turn. Uh, it will just disappear. It will just be okay. It will come back to normalcy. So I should not worry or I should not uh, 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 think that uh, after maybe working out this way, it will clear. So uh, then I proceeded and asked whether I can do some exercises even after four months off, after after uh, going through a CS four months earlier. So he told me, I think it's okay as long as you listen to your body slowly by slowly you will heal, then you can go now vigorous. So I came back, but he told me to engage my uh, gynecologist. So 
So I came back and engaged my gyna and she told me the same thing. I didn't listen to your body and slowly by slowly start working out. And I asked her what I can use or that is in the gym. She told me you can use a treadmill, uh, but uh, please uh, tell, the, um, tell the instructor you are, you are, you are, that is uh, your challenge of what you have gone through, okay? That I have a CS, my, my, my health position then. So that's the, what exactly I did because by then I was 100 kgs and it was not very easy. Even sleeping is a problem. So I decided to go to the gym immediately. And I remember, and I remember it was 4th of, uh, it was 24th of December. It was 24th of December. Excuse me. Sorry, sorry. Excuse me. Sorry, 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 my friends. Sorry, sorry. Okay. So as I told you earlier, that I, I, decided to, I decided to go that way, that route of losing weight. And you know, as I told you earlier, that I was my waist was 50 inches. So I have extra weight. My belly is big. I have a CS. You know, when I go down for, for an exercise, for example, on the floor, coming at standing is a problem. But I decided I will do this. I was determined and I was focused. Yes. So I decided to start my workout. That is um, 2017, 24th, 24th of 2017, December. I started my workouts. And so as I proceeded or have continued to learn a lot, to learn a lot. So you are there, you have gone through a CS and you've stayed for two years, you've stayed for four years, my friend, that is too much of time. You need to work on your belly. You need to work on your belly. So let's touch, let's go on, now let's move on to the next level. When you're working out, you have to, you have to, you have to test oh, or to check whether you have what we call diastasis recti, diastasis recti. Diastasis recti or recti mm -hmm. is, is, is that uh, abdominal muscle, abdominal muscle that we all have. Men have it, women have it. But for women, it is always it is always like this. But when you get pregnant, it, it starts to stretch because the baby is trying to find their way or is their trying to get space for themselves. Okay, so it starts stretching and stretching the abdominal muscle starts stretching and stretching far apart. This abdominal muscle, when it's together, you have what we call a uh, six pack. But when it starts stretching, you lose, that is now the, the that is the, the stability or the strength of, the, of your core is, is lost. Now it stretches apart. Now, before, uh, when you get to uh, ten, nine months, nine months, it's already apart. So after delivery, after delivery, and you want to start working out, there is a way you can check whether you have a, a, a diastasis recti. So you have to lie down. You lie down flat. Lie down flat. Then take your take your your these four fingers, the four fingers, and put it direct direct into your direct into your umbilical cord, yes, inside there, like this, or like this, like this, yes, put it inside and check. If all these uh, fingers get in, then it means that muscle is far much apart, far much apart. So you need to correct it first before you continue. You need to correct it first. Correcting it first it doesn't, it doesn't mean that you go back to be uh, through a CS or through that is a, a surgery again no it is through exercising okay so most of the women have started working out and the only exercise they know is sit-ups and sit-ups unfortunately now makes it even stretch apart because you are, you are trying to put pressure on it when you put pressure on that uh, uh, muscle it goes far apart it goes far apart and with the tissues inside of that particular gap 
uh, the food and the fat that comes in. Now you, you continue expanding. Your tummy continues to, to grow, to grow big. So I ask us to try, uh, test or check whether you have, uh, uh, that is um, abdomen, abdominal, that is a uh, stretch. The recti, uh, the diastasis recti, you have to check. Then after that, for me, I had to check. When I checked, it was so huge. And I started doing what I started working on it. I, in fact, I just searched on how the exercises that, exercises that I should do for, for it. Okay. So what happened? I started my journey. I think after after six months, I was able to correct that is the, the diastasis rectus. My muscle came together. I checked, and now when I check right now, the, that hole, that hole is not no longer there. You kishimo imapotea. Why? Because the muscles have come back together. Okay. So that is the first move. Yes. That them that are. Uh, they don't stretch so much so after delivery you find they just come back after taking maybe a few concussions their lemons ginger and what have you they come back to the to their to their normal uh, waistline arakasana but for them there's some, some of us that our children were so big you know like from my first one was 4.5 4 <laughs> 4.5 so it stretched so much yes much so uh, i had to work on it i had to correct that problem fast yes so the exercises for that so if you do sit-ups you worsen you worsen the problem okay okay now as we continue working out another thing that we should consider is tucking tucking our tummies tuck your tummy Kindly, if you're joining me, Karibu Sana, I'm talking uh, about or how to get rid of fat, and especially for us women, after you have conceived and you carry your child for nine months, and uh, after delivery, you accumulate a lot of uh, belly fat, and sometimes not because we want it, but because we fear uh, uh, going, that is doing our exercises because of going through a cesarean section. Okay? Sometimes you also uh, accumulate the belly fat because we are stressed up. Mm -hmm. We are stressed up. Sometimes there are them that have gone through postpartum uh, uh, depression. You know, when you are depressed or when you're stressed up, I uh, said earlier that you uh, you generate in your body generates what we call cortisol hormone, and this cortisol hormone uh, is responsible. Um, in increasing that is the insulin level. So when you have uh, uh, sugar levels increases, then you start um, craving for food. When you crave for food, you eat it. Mm -hmm. When you eat it, what happens to you? You increase weight. And this uh, uh, fat now goes to the belly. It goes to your tummy. And uh, thereof, you, you grow big. Your tummy grows so big. Okay? So let's move on. So after correcting the rectal muscle, you come back, uh, diastasis muscle or diastasis recti, you come back to workouts. When you're working out, Karibu Sana, if you're joining me today or right now, uh, I'm talking about how to get rid of belly fat. Karibu Sana, thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, when you're working out, I ask us to tuck in your tummy. Uh, breathe in, breathe in and hold yourself, hold the breath for quite a while. Even without working out and you hold that every day, I'm telling you, you'll see changes in your time. So if you have decided to work out, make sure that you, you tuck in your time. Tucking in your time means that you breathe in and hold, hold for quite a while. It's the same thing you do when you are doing planks. When you're doing planks, you have to put down your, your, your hands and hold your breath and now stabilize. By doing so, you'll burn, you'll burn more fat and at the same time, you are strengthening your core muscles. You're strengthening your core muscles. And thereafter, you'll, you'll start realizing that is the breaking of fat, of, uh, of, of that belly fat. And slowly by slowly, as you continue, working out as you tuck in your tummy, then you burn more, okay? So I encourage us to tuck in our tummies. Even if you're not working out, you're walking, you're walking, you are walking, you are just strolling, 
make sure you have tucked in your tummy. Yes, I've been learning along the way. I've been learning a lot of things concerning losing belly fat. Okay? So tuck in your tummy. You are doing those, uh, those uh, 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 jumping jacks, okay? You are doing it. Tuck in your tummy. Tuck in your tummy. Pull it in. Pull it in. Sometimes you get uh, what we call... Um, what we call... Let me just send somebody to get me this. Let me send one of my... Just a moment. I want to show us something. I want to show us something. I want to show us something. Sometimes if you're not able, especially when you are huge, when you are big, when your waistline is, is big like I was, you it, it, sometimes you can't feel uh, that you have held that is you have tucked in your tummy so you get something to help you and that is a belt okay so i want to show us the material that you can use okay i want to show us the material that you can use to just hold back your tummy so that you're only working out uh that particular belt is able to burn more fat for you and uh, also it's able to hold to hold your thank you to hold your hold your tummy Okay, this is a very nice uh, sauna belt. Okay, it's a very nice sauna belt. I'm putting it for one of my ladies. I have ladies that I'm I'm, I'm trying to work with uh, to just lose weight. So this is the belt. Can you see it? Kindly, can you see it? Let me get. Let it be interactive. Tell me your your journey. Tell me how far you've gone. Here it looks like um elastic eh? it's like elastic i don't know can you be able to see it it's like elastic in a common pira pira easy tire tire easy it's elastic eh? it is uh, it's like i don't know you you, you see those um, um uh mats mats they are mats that have uh, rubbish it's rubbish that is the word it is rubbish so when you when you when you tie it you tie it in contact to the skin. Tie it in contact to the skin. It is stretches actually. Tie it in contact with the with the skin around your belly. You tighten, not so much that you cannot breathe, of course. Just uh, put it. You tie it. Then you now put on your attire. You put on your 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 dresses. The dress, whatever you are going to use for uh, for for working out. That is your attire for workouts. So you have to start with this, direct in contact with your skin, okay? Sorry, so sorry, sorry. In contact with your skin. Can you see the difference? There's a difference between this and this. You can see. There's a difference between this and this. So when you go maybe looking for it or shopping for it, make sure that there is this uh, rubbish, rubbish uh, texture. It is stretches. It has really helped me. Mine is in the house. It has really helped me. This is for a, for for one of my ladies. So it helps you tuck in your tummy. It helps you burn more fat. Yes. Every day I used to come out of gym. my belt unapata imeenda to the next loop. Yes. Because I do that is a I, I used to do that stretch me and I come doing some 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 um leg races i come do some you know those the leg races i think when you go to my when you go to my channel uh, when you look at my channel there is uh, one clip i think one clip of uh, how to lose belly fat uh, that are the, the exercises that are, you can use to, uh, to you can do to lose belly fat so when you do those exercises having this belt i'm telling you see a great change yes and like that person that is training, Hannah Chochote, okay? So me, I do this. Then there's another one that I put that is on top of, four, of after putting on my clothes. Now I put it on top just to hold my back. Yes? Holding your back also is very important. So if you have some coins, you can get the two belts. Get the belt for the inside and get the belt to hold your back. Because after delivery, you, your back is no longer very stable as you, it was 
before conceiving, before carrying the pregnancy, and after delivery. So sometimes, uh, what hinders us from uh, what hinders us from uh, doing our workouts is our back, our buckets. Yes, after delivery or during pregnancy, you find that uh, uh, there is a lot that happens with the with our body. There is hormonal change. There is uh, the, the muscles and things. <laughs> The things that just happen in our bodies, and you find mostly our back, huh? Because it has been carrying a lot of uh, luggage. That is our children. <laughs> it becomes strained, and therefore that's why you are told to stay for a while. That uh, that bending uh, of your ovio, yes, But you find even after maybe those months, that somebody is still complaining of back pain, or you have received your child, then you don't have somebody to help you run the errands or or, 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 or do some chores in the house. So you find yourself carrying your baby by yourself. You find yourself washing utensils. You find yourself uh, mopping the house. You find yourself doing everything in that house. And maybe you, don't, you have maybe three children. And throughout the day, you have been running up and down. So your back is affected. So um, I want to encourage us. Just encourage yourself. First of all, you have just have to love the children. It's a gift from God because we want to love and and of this <laughs> you'll get more stress you'll get more depressed that's why you get through past is this past pattern uh depression so first of all uh, thank god for the children shukuru mungu sababu kuna watoto yes so don't look your husband don't look at your husband as if unwewe Mimi kabla sijakuja no 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 all of us wanted those children ndio tuko nataka mtoi so first of all love your children this is a gift from god and this is you could not have gotten that child kama una bwana si ndio so so because some of the people have gone through that yani unaangalia mwili wako unaangalia tumbo i love you look at your spouse then you start having having yani you just start <coughs> okay so first of all, thank God for your partner, thank God for your children, and start now the journey, the process together. And I pray that uh, that, our, uh, that our spouses or your spouse will be able to support you even as you start on that journey. Just bring them on board, even the children, bring them on board when you're starting that journey. I'm sad. I think I'm bringing a lot of things in this topic, a lot of things which are key, you know? When you don't have that support, when you go to the supermarket, you find yourself buying things here and there, and when you get to the house, you eat anyhow. So I'm now I'm now get I'm now I've now talked about the belt tucking in your tummy. Mm -hmm. So the next thing I want to talk about is uh, the support system. You know the support system. Maybe sometimes you know we we have different families and uh, different family setups, and, and 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 sometimes you find that when you don't have that support system. I've told you again and again that stress or depression leads to a hormone uh, called cortisol hormone, which is generated. And when it is generated, it leads now to the uh, raising of blood sugar. When your blood sugar is risen, then you start accumulating, you start eating anyhow and accumulating fat. And that belly fat, that, that fat now goes into you, your belly. It rests in your belly. So when your people support you, and I want to encourage a family setup, when we encourage that mama, because this mama is a blessing, encourage one another. That mom you're able to do it. If there are children that are big, my children are so small. My 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 my, my elder my firstborn is uh is uh is five five years. Like in Napata, and I'm going to Mama, you tumbo, fana, fana, and a gym tumbo ishe. That's a support system for me because it encourages me to work out. Yes? And it gets your partner and they help you, help you in your journey, help you in your journey. Sometimes when you maybe want to eat so much, they tell you, hey, uh, no, 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 no. Just take a lot of water, eat this and this and this, okay? And just encouraging you. Sometimes, even when they don't want to work out, you find them jumping there, jumping, helping mama to work out. Yes? And encouraging each and every day that you'll make it. You'll make it. You are this, hey, these are your photos. Yes. Now, mama, we want you to come back to this. To this. We want you to look like this. 
You see, that is helping that woman. You're helping that mother. Uh -huh. If it's, it's a husband or, a, or, 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 or your partner coming on board and telling your wife, can you go to the gym? And you support them by, by giving them money, giving them the gym uh, 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 money. Yes, you cannot tell somebody to go to, to, to work out. Now jump there something in the pocket. <laughs> to support them. Because this one was a was was a was a, a collective a collective uh, what? Uh Pamoja Mapata Toto. So that muata peke ake, a kingangana na tumbo. You have to come on board and help that woman lose that belly fat. So the support system is very important. So that the stress level goes down. Okay? The stress level goes down. You find that when you go to the supermarket to buy things, again, you are very careful. You will not just be getting uh, that is uh, uh, junk food. Why? Because these people are aware that mama wants to lose belly, belly fat. Okay? And I'm not seeing you saying anything. Let it be interactive. Where are you? Have I hurt you in any way so far? Yes? Have I helped you in any way so far? Let me know. I'll be so encouraged when I see your feedback. I'll be so encouraged when I see your feedback, okay? I'll be so encouraged. So, uh, tell me whether you have been encouraged or Irene, uh, yes? Or tell me your struggles about, that is, uh, trying to lose weight or trying to lose belly fat. Yes? Let me find your comment. Let me see your comments, my friends. If you tuned in, you are my friends. Please let me get feedback. Let me get feedback. Mm -hmm. Let me get your feedback. It will be very important for me. Yes. Another thing about belly fat is that there are things that will help you also. Apart from the belt. Apart from the belt. There are other things that I've included that is in my diet. Yes? The first one that I was introduced to was chia seeds. Because now I was breastfeeding. So the chia seeds have a very high content of fiber. Very high content of fiber food helps you feel fuller throughout the day. And therefore you eat less. Actually you eat less. You eat but you eat less. When you eat less, it means that the calories or the fat that you are accumulating is less also. Therefore, you control, you control the belly from increasing. Okay? And at the same time, these particular chia seeds have other, 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 other what they call minerals that help burn belly fat. Let me count for you the things that help burn belly fat when you check them. They are healthy things. Yes? One, I've talked of chia seeds. Two, ginger. Three, uh, uh, lemon. Uh, four, we have cinnamon. Yes? Joyce Maganga, Karibu Sana. That's uh, thanks for those very important highlights. God bless. Thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in, my sister. Okay. When you check this thing, I've talked of ginger, I've talked of, I've talked of lemon, I've talked of cinnamon, I've talked of uh, chia seeds, and also there is flax seed. Flax seed. Uh, uh, foo. Nowadays, <laughs> it's called foo, or F F L A X. Yes? Flax seed. When you have this concussion, early in the morning before you start your, your day, they are able to help you so very much to burn even the previous calories. Yes? You're supposed to take it twice in a day. That is early in the morning when you wake up and late at night after you have, uh, you have eaten. You can eat that your dinner. Then after uh, an hour or two hours, you now take your concussion, then you sleep. So these things, these things that I've talked, if you're joining me, I'm talking on how to get rid of belly fat or belly, uh, uh, getting rid of uh, big, big bellies, okay, especially for women. But I want to, I want to believe that this is also 
it can also help that man that has a, uh, it's called what? Kitambi. Uh -huh. You can be able to be helped. So whatever I'm sharing, I, it applies also to men because there are men that have bellies. Okay? Okay. So when you take this concussion in early in the morning, you find it's, you're able to burn more fat. More fat. Uh, is there anything that I've forgotten? There is the apple, C, uh, apple cider vinegar. So you were breastfeeding. It's a uh, apple cider vinegar with mother. It has been. Uh, it is written there with mother. And the best one for uh, for weight loss and the tummy loss. Uh, uh, that is uh, that helps you burn belly fat. Is is uh, by by a manufacturer by this man called Bragg. Bragg B R R G G. Okay, so so those those are things that can really help you be able to burn belly fat. So uh, I want to encourage you to have those concussions because sometimes uh, it it helps not sometimes but mostly it cat catalyzes or yes it catalyzes the process of burning fat in the in the body. So have them in the house. If you don't have uh, a particular of vinegar because sometimes uh, it's uh, a little bit high, it's expensive. You can get a lemon. And if lemon is a problem, you can get a flaxseed, flaxseed chia seed. They are fair, they are fair prices. When you go to the supermarket, a small such it is, goes at around 180 shillings, uh, 200, there about. So get those things in your in your concussions in the morning with warm water, not hot water, warm water. So for chia seeds, make sure that you you soak. You can soak it overnight. Then, uh, then uh, in the morning, just take, you can just uh, push a moto, you can just warm them, kidogo, then you take. After taking, let yeah. me surprise you. You will not yeah. need to eat so much. In fact, your body will just start slowly by slowly controlling itself, controlling and managing the food. Okay? So when you take this concussion in the morning, you feel stronger throughout the day because it supplies, it, it, it helps you with more energy. It, is a more, it has a lot of protein, it has a lot of um, yes, the fiber, and this fiber helps you to be full throughout the day, and you'll feel strong throughout the day. So what you'll be eating will be uh, so much controlled. You'll find yourself eating small quantities of food. And when you eat small quantities of food, what happens when it gets your body, it's broken, it's broken down very fast, and when it's broken down very fast, then um, you, you use it throughout the day. The energy is the the the, the, the um, that is the fat is used throughout the day. So unapata, you don't have so much calories to accumulate in your belly. Okay, so those are the things. The, 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 those are the, the my concussion that I've been using throughout. So sometimes you get bored with this. Sometimes you get bored with this one. You change to another one. So sometimes you don't feel so much because it it has a, a test that you don't really like. I, you, you incorporate incorporate uh, uh, honey, you know, incorporate honey. Not so much, but you incorporate honey so that you find it, it, it you, you tastes better, okay? So after taking that, you find your intake level, your intake, uh, food intake is controlled. After, you know, for anything to be now permanent in you, in somebody's life, for example, yeah, you have to go for three weeks. Not kidogo ile sana, but you find you just eat kidogo umeshiba. So you, you, you can even eat six times in a day, but kidogo kidogo. You feel uh, full. You don't get cravings every now and then when you use this particular concussion that I've shared with you. Okay. So I want to encourage you to start this that I've told you. If maybe you have found me uh, going on and you have not uh, gotten the other ways of getting rid of uh, belly fat, you can just, uh, after I've finished the, uh, the, this uh, live stream, uh, you can just start it again. And then you learn uh, about the things that I've shared about and it will go a long way. Yes? Then the last one. The last one. You have to work out. You have to work out. I've told you I've been working out for the last two years and a half. In every of my workouts, I have to include tummy workout. Yes? If I'm doing a, 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 cardio, a cardio workout today, after finishing the 30 minutes, I have to sit back 
and do they I have to I have to get a, a 10 minutes clip or a 20 minutes clip or even five minutes clip to work on my tummy. I told you I started the, the journey when I was 50 inches waistline. So I put a lot of effort in my tummy. Okay. So after every workout, assuming today you're doing your upper body, you're doing an upper body. Upper body, it means from the, the upper waist to your upper body. Yes, your shoulders, your chest. After doing that, assuming you're doing it for one hour or you're doing it for 45 minutes, please take five minutes, 10 minutes or 20 minutes for your belly workouts. Okay? If you've done your lower body, the lower body starts from the tummy downwards. Yes? You're doing a lower body. That's the, the, the hips, the legs. Yes? Finish. If you have done, done 30, 30 minutes, please give yourself 10 minutes, 20 minutes, or 15 minutes, because sometimes you're so tired. Give yourself even five minutes to work on your tummy. You will lose uh, uh, faster, and like when you do just kawaida, like any other person, dance, dance, so, because it's the stubborn fat, you have to put more effort in burning the belly fat. Okay? That's why in every workout that I do, I have to do a belly fat exercise. Exercise. A belly exercise. That is a, a tummy workout. Okay? So, uh, I'm going to do uh, more. I've, talked, I've, I've, I've shown or I, in, my, in my clips, I've, uh, I've uh, given us that is the standing belly workout and also... There are others that you go down that's on the floor to do them. But I'm still coming with more because I've done quite a lot uh, 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 throughout these two years and, um, and uh, four and six months. Okay? So when you try these things that I've, I've, I've talked about, I'm telling you, give yourself six months or one year. That belly fat will be gone, I assure you. I assure you it will be gone. It will be gone when you are not you are not able you, when you cannot manage to go on the floor please look for the standing abs workout yes unafanya kama umesimama and especially kama umechoka ama you are big bodied person do the standing abs workouts yes so that at the end of the day after you have lost the body fat the entire body even your belly is no longer there okay in sour i hope that you let me find the feedback are you are you blessed? <laughs> it's only Jace that I've seen. Anne, are you there? Hopefully, I've helped you in one or the other. Olivia, Olivia, you, jo you are joined in. Let me know whether this has helped you in one way or the other. Or what has been your struggle? What has been your struggle? What has been your struggle? I ask us to kindly share this with your friends. Uh, you know, lack of knowledge is very expensive. Very expensive. Let's go share. Go share, even with them that have gone through CS. Allow them or tell them to uh, meet me or conduct me. You have, uh, I see, uh, okay, uh, two ladies, I, I think you have my contact, but, but if you, they want to see me or to meet me, kindly let them go to my, um, to my Facebook. Facebook, I use Irene Abel Lawrence. I, Irene Abel Lawrence, they're able to get me and let them inbox me if they want me to now deal with them one-on-one. -on -one so that I help them manage or get rid of belly fat. Yes, I wouldn't like to see a woman struggle. Every time now when I walk around, I, I see somebody with a big tummy, you know, it's detrimental to our health, it's detrimental to us. And, and therefore, I just, I'm just out to help that woman that desires to get rid of, rid of that belly fat, okay? Okay? So thank you so much for tuning in, and I believe that you're going to share this with your friends, yes? Please share this with your friends. Share this with your friends. Don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. Please share. Help. Let's help one another. And especially for women. Let's help one another. Sometimes you find you hold, holding information like this one it will not help you in any way. It will not help me in any way. Isn't it? When you see your friend feeling good about themselves, and just walking confidently, uh, running their errands, uh, feeling good about themselves, yes, that will be good, and God will also feel good about you, okay? And you get blessings just by just sharing such a thing to somebody that has been struggling for quite a while. 
Okay, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. I, I really appreciate that you came over and you are tuned in to just listen to me. And uh, I believe and trust that you have been helped or you have been encouraged that it's very much possible to lose the belly fat. And when you lose, let me tell you, when you lose that belly fat, you feel so good. Your wardrobe will change. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are married. You are, you are, you are partner. In fact, the, another thing that I would want to tell you, the benefits of losing belly fat, your sexual life will be so good. Your sexual life will be so good because when the belly is so big, yes, when your belly is so big, it becomes a stumbling block. Yes, it becomes a stumbling block. There is a the, 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 you sometimes sometimes you just don't feel like even uh, 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 nearing your, your your spouse because you feel so tired. You know the belly fat is bad. Uh -huh. And 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 and, and uh, why have I uh, <laughs> why have I decreased the volume? <laughs> yes. So you it even you improve improve your sexuality your sexual life you will uh, enjoy, okay? So encourage that lady to lose that belly fat. As I say, thank you so much for tuning in. May God bless you. Baraka mingi sana, baraka mingi sana. Thank you. Let's continue praying that COVID-19 will be defeated in Jesus' name. Bye-bye. Bye, 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 Joyce. Bye, Anne. Bye, Olivia. God bless you. Bye.